there at the rural farming town of the Midwest in Nebraska of Gatlin, came a leader of a fiery tongue inciting the vulnerable children to rise up immediately against the imposing adults of the small town. In the uprising was swift and brutal, not one adult resident had survived. In a clearing in the vast rows of cornfields surrounding the town, the image of the crucified blue man and the false minister was seen, a haunting reminder of the voices that were ultimately silenced then by the self-righteous fanaticism of a powerful, tarnished religion. The pipe organ in the local church was thus destroyed with violence, its keys torn apart and its pipes were stuffed with the corn husk, signs and postings indicating the dates were ignored and effaced. The buildings of the center were abandoned in the ghost town. An age of favor was established as a supreme law to adhere to teachings, at the sole command of he who walks behind the rose from the brimstone. The children walked into the rose on their nineteenth birthday to be forgotten, vanishing into the labyrinths of the menacing and dark, cold cornfield. Isaac would say, the Lord has chosen me as the bringer of his word and the giver of his laws. Disobedience to me is disobedience to him. Do it now or your punishment should be a thousand deaths, each more horrible than the last. One day an outsider would destroy the bringer and upholder of the law. And it would bring the downfall and liberate the corrupted children. Isaac and Malachi would perish under the fire of their burning tongues. The devil of the cornfield would come for Malachi. Malachi, he wants you to. Malachi, he wants you to. <laughs> In the poem.